In this video, I am going to show you how to install RDP server without domain controller. Here I am using Windows Server 2022 Standard Edition. Open the Server Manager, then Manage, Add Roles and Features. Press the Next button, select the roles and then press the Next. Then select the server and then press the Next button. Here first we need to install Active Directory Domain Services but we will not promote the server to Domain Controller. Now I selected the Active Directory Domain Services. Then press the Add Feature. Then press Next. Then press Next. Then start the installation. Once after finishing the installation of Active Directory Domain Service, usually we need to promote the server into Domain Controller. Here we are skipping the Promoting Domain Controller option. Without promoting the Domain Controller, we are going to install RDP Server. Then go to Manage again. Select Add and Roll Features. Then press the Next button. Select the server. Here in the server role, we need to select to remote desktop services then press next for the roles of service here we need to select remote desktop licensing and remote desktop session host then press the next button if you want to restart the server automatically while on the installation if required we can select that option and then press the install button here I am not pressing the restart option. Once after we need to restart server manually. Now our installation has been finished. Then we need to restart the server. Usual scenario if we are using the domain controller we can create and delete the user from Active Directory users and computers. Here we are not promoted the server to DC domain controller. So we need to use the computer management for creating the user. Select the computer management. If you are right clicking on the Windows button, we will get the option to select the computer management. Then go to users and groups. Here we can add the users. Some security reason I am already added the users. Here you can add the user. Then we need to add the remote desktop group. Then only we are able to access using the same username. The same user you can able to access from other computer using the remote desktop. If you want to access this server on multiple system you need to activate RDP server license. Using the licensing manager, you can able to activate the license. If you are activating with the user care license, you will get error like this. So use the device care license method. This will give you the multiple access of RDP server. You can buy the license directly from the Microsoft or Microsoft partners. This is the method we are using to access the RDP from multiple server without domain controller. I have already done one video for accessing the RDP server. You can refer the same video for accessing the server from other computer. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.